Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So, today is Friday, and what happened just the other day on Wednesday, my dad texts me and he's like, hey, we're going to South Dakota to go fishing. I'm like, okay. So, just like two days ago, my dad books a fishing trip for this weekend for us to go to South Dakota to go fishing. Um... So we're just about to leave home. We're going to leave home in about a half hour. Got to go load everything up in the truck and then we'll be off. So we're going to go to Chamberlain in South Dakota and we're going to be walleye fishing. It's going to be my dad, my uncle and me. We're going to be going fishing. So we're going to drive up there tonight and then we're going to get, I think the guy picks us up around 645 tomorrow morning. And then we're going to be fishing until about 3 o'clock, I think it is. And then we just have the rest of, of the day to do whatever we want. So I think I might go fishing by myself some other place. Because this is like a guided tour kind of thing. They provide everything. We just have to show up and they tell us what to do and take us to the spot. And we just fish. But after that, so like after 3 o'clock or whenever it is, then I am bringing my own fishing stuff and I'm going to find some place and just go fishing by myself. Um, and then same thing's going to happen Sunday. The guy's going to pick us up at like 645 or I think it's around then, around 645. And then we're going to be fishing until 3 o'clock or whatever. And then we're going to drive home and then we'll be home Sunday night. But the limit for walleye is 4 and there's going to be three of us, so we'll have, we'll hopefully have 12 walleye the first day and 12 the second day. We'll get 24 walleye in total, hopefully. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring it back home, and then we're going to do like a catch and cook is what we're going to kind of do. So we're going to catch it there, and then we're going to bring it home and cook it. So you guys will see us catching the fish. Once we're done with the trip, we'll bring it home, and then we'll cook them. So you'll see us catching the fish, and then you'll see us cooking the fish. So I haven't done a video like this before, but hopefully it ends up to be pretty a pretty good video, and hopefully you guys like it. So yeah, we're just about to take off, so I just wanted to get an overview of what was going to be happening, and I wanted you guys to know what was going to happen, so you all knew, and it just wasn't jumping right into the video, and you actually knew what was going to happen. So, let's... Start packing stuff up, I guess. So next time I'll probably speak with you will be probably tonight or tomorrow morning. Something like that. But yeah, I'm going to get packed up, uh, get in the truck, and then we're going to take off. So it's a five and a half hour drive there. We're going to Chamberlain, South Dakota, go walleye fishing. So, yep, that's what's going on. Alright guys, so we made it to the hotel, um, we made it here, and then we got supper, and we got our fishing license, got everything figured out, so it's about 11.30 right now, um, gotta wake up around 6 tomorrow, and then get some food, and then we'll head out onto the water. So, we made it here j just fine, and now we're gonna go to bed, and then wake up in the morning, and get to fishing, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Just 
know what they're doing. Do you want to repeat that for my son here? Uh, <laughs> what did he say? He said, some guys really do know what they're doing. <laughs> So this this will be on YouTube. About a ten footer. So I, anything, you know, 14, 14 and a half and up, yeah. I've been keeping. Have you? I got something. Yeah, 
That's a big one. Big one. Is a bigger one. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bigger too when he said it. Well, <laughs> it's a nice fish. Though. Based off of my first two that were. That you set the bar extremely low on? Yeah, that's why <laughs> this one's big because you gotta start off small and then work your way up. It's a good way to do it. It's a good rule for marriage later in life too. Set the bar really low right at the beginning. Yeah. Because you set it too high and then all of a sudden you gotta. <laughs> yep. Pretty good one. I'm gonna grab this up. Might need to be got it. Maybe I don't know. About 15, 16 inches. I'd like to do something different. Retirement. It's a huge one. Oh, look oh. at that. Told you it was huge. Never mind. You got two fish? I couldn't handle. It was definitely bigger than anything Michael's caught, but.
That's a decent one. Too bad he can't keep it. Because <laughs> we don't need any more. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got off the water from fishing in Lake Sharp where we were fishing at and that was at about 2 o'clock-ish and then we cleaned the fish, um, came back and uh, town Chamberlain where we're staying, um, just cleaned up, did whatever, just ate, now it's about 7.30 and I've seen a few pictures of people fishing at this little part of the lake over here. Um, here I'll show you it. So right down over here there's the bridge and then both edges where the rocks are. I've seen people fishing over there and I've seen a few pictures of people catching fish over there. So you know I brought some of my own fishing stuff so I'm gonna go over there see if I can get hooked up on anything. My goal here is to try and catch a smallmouth bass. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe I'll catch a walleye or something. I'm gonna try fishing over there and we will see what happens. So let's get to it. Well, the sign said this is a kid's fishing pier. I'm basically a kid, right? I can fish here. Oh, look at that. There's a huge carp that just surfaced right there. That is cool. That is very cool. Just show up before I take my backpack off. I see a huge carp just surface right there. See if I can get hooked up on anything, I guess, right? Okay. Let's try and switch to like a Sanko. See if that doesn't work. Well, I don't really know what that is going on over there. But whatever it is, it sure is annoying. People banging on drums or something. There's a little something jumping in the water right over here. So the initial plan was to go fish over there. But I saw this dock and I was like, well, this is a closer of a walk than to over there. So I'll try this first. So we'll try out here. If we don't get anything here, then we'll move to over there. Oh, I see a couple splashes of fish over there. Out in the distance, kind of in between the, uh, the bridge in here, so. Try and fish both spots. Try a couple different baits. See what works and what doesn't work. Alright, so not really getting any bites on the Sanko. So I think... I'm going to switch it up to a crankbait. I'm thinking about yellow. I'm feeling a yellow crankbait. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Leave in the comments what you guys think I should throw. But by the time you watch this video, 
I will already be left from here. But you know what? I'm I'm gonna tie on I think a yellow crankbait. Unless I find something else while I'm opening the tackle box. But actually I'll make one cast here, one cast there. If I don't get anything, it's a yellow crankbait time. I'll try that. Okay, yellow crankbait time. Let's see what happens. Okay, while looking through here, I saw a spoon. So I think I'll try the crankbait. If I get nothing on that, I'll either switch to a rooster tail or a spoon. But for now, I'm gonna go with the crankbait. Okay, I'm gonna tie on this bad boy. Looks pretty juicy. Does it have a... It's got a... Oh no, it does not have a rattle. Maybe I have one that does have a rattle. Maybe. This one doesn't have a rattle either. Ooh, that hurt. Um, I don't think I have one that has a rattle, but actually, do we have a winner? Do we? Kinda hope we do. Yes, got one with a rattle. Cause the water's a little dirty out here. So I'm thinking a rattle right now would be the best thing. Something that's bouncing off the bottom and something with a rattle. So we're gonna try that. See what happens, let you guys know. Okay, it's bridge time. See if we can have any better luck over there. There's a fish right there. Oh, I got snagged on something and I was just reeling it in so I could get a better cast afterwards. But what do you know? Right at the bank right there, I hooked onto a fish. Oh, that scared me. This fish just popped up and went bang. Missed it. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it was a pretty small, small mouth or like a big bluegill. I'm pretty sure it was a small, small mouth. There's a fish. Oh, crappie. Of course. Trying to catch a smallmouth. And what do I catch? A crappie. Okay. Well, there's my first fish of the night. And over in this spot, so... I mean, I guess that's better than catching nothing, but... Not a smallmouth, well, like I was hoping for, but... It's something. There we go. First fish of the night out here. Better than nothing. But it's no smallmouth, so... I'm gonna keep fishing, try to catch a smallmouth. Let's get a release on it. See a little crappie. Go back out on the dock, see if there's anything out here. Okay, well I'm done fishing for tonight. Um, tonight I caught one crappie and had a smallmouth um, come up after it but miss it so he, had, he swiped at it but hopefully the fishing the walleye fishing tomorrow is good and hopefully I can get hooked up on a small mouth so I will see you guys tomorrow all right guys so we made it back from South Dakota and I am in here in my room editing this video and I realized that the whole entire thing is about 35 minutes long and I know you guys don't want to watch a 35 minute long video so what I decided to do is split the video up into three different parts is what it's going to be. So for part one, which you guys just finished watching, like the drive up, so Friday, and then fishing all day Saturday. So that's going to be it for this video. But then part two is going to be the next video that's coming out. 
and that is going to be fishing on Sunday and then to the end of fishing part three which hasn't been filmed yet but what it will be is the cooking part of the trip so we got all the meat from the fish and everything brought it all home we're gonna cook it up sometime and then you guys will eventually see that video on how we cooked them up and how they tasted and stuff like that but this was the first part of the video and in the two future videos I will explain a little more about what is happening in each of them but for this part of the video it was Friday and then Saturday so I hope you enjoyed this part of the South Dakota walleye trip fishing video so as always thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors don't forget to like comment subscribe and we will catch you next time